All right, we got a ready from DMJ. And we've got a ready from Coster. So here we go. The Rumble on the Prairie 13 gold bracket finals between DMJ and at Coster. Count it down with me, crowd, because game number one in three, two, one. Tetris! All right, our players are off and running. This is going to be so hype. I'm so glad that you guys have all made it in here to the finals. If you have any friends that are not here and they absolutely need to see this, you better ping them on the discords or all the other social medias. Get them in here, folks, because this is going to be an absolute barn burner. Right, nice burns there from DMJ. Gonna have two Tetris on the board. Coster already on the board with two. Gets another one. Bang, Tetris. 69,000. Hey now, through 13 lines. Nice little delayed burn there from DMJ. He's gonna start stacking for a Tetris and a beautiful adjustment there. Ooh, slight missing there from DMJ. You can kind of see the face, but he's gonna switch over to that rolling grip so fast. DMJ, a DAS player and a roller. Not afraid to switch in the middle of a dig. He is so quick with it, so clean. He's gonna work to clean this board down. He's currently falling behind about by a Tetris. He's at 100,000, Coster at 122. Getting the long bar for the Aki position. There's another long bar, boom, Tetris, 145 for the tapper. 104, make it 110 for the Dasser and the Roller. There's another long bar down the middle. That's a column seven. Maybe that's column eight. It's column eight. See, again, having me count to anything, no wonder I play this game anyway. 133, though, for DMJ. I could certainly give you a score check. Not going to be able to use that long bar for a Tetris. Has to stash it all the way to the left-hand side. Coster is clean and ready for the Tetris, as is DMJ. Drought starting to form, 15 pieces and counting. There's the long bar for the Tetris, 216 for Coster. And there's the Tetris, gonna answer right back as DMJ with another one, boom. 186 to 218, the tap around front by one and a half. We're through 50 already. Nice little tuck there from DMJ. He's gonna be ready for a Tetris when that long bar comes. And long bar's gonna show up for at Coster. 265 with a Vitz. If you have my emote, put it in the chat. 265 to 213. There's a Tetris for DMJ. Go to 235. Halfway through with these level 18 speeds. And Beast and Shen, welcome in. Rating with a party of 13. You are just in time. This is the Rumble on the Prairie 13 Gold Bracket Finals. You're looking at DMJ the Roller versus At Coster the Tapper. Another Tetris there for At Coster. Going to get another long bar for a boom. Tetris go to 343. Nice tucks and delay burn set up there for DMJ. Going to get a long bar and stash it upright at the last moment. He's at 265, starting to fall behind. He's about three Tetrises back. There's a long bar for both and a bang Tetris. 365 to 288. And there's a long bar for Ad Coster. Gonna get a Tetris. 412. The tapper out in front by three and a half. Nice burns. There's a long bar for the Tetris. Ad Coster now having to deal with a bit of parity, but got a couple of good pieces. He's ready for the Tetris. Ooh, but that T piece, not so friendly. Oh no. Oh my word, Coster bringing this down. This was looking scary for a moment. Let's see what else he can do. He can get that over 
Gonna need something for the center there. That long bar gonna help, but he doesn't quite get that S over. A good long bar flat, the Kingsman special. Oh my word, getting these pieces over where they need to go. You can see the look on Ellery's face behind, just absolutely amazed at the speeds that this tapper has. There it is, he has that Tetris well open. This needs the long bar. Where's this long bar for Coster? Ooh, safety triple, there's a long bar, and boom, Tetris, what a dig by at Coster. 478. Still two Tetris ahead of DMJ. Going to get another long bar and boom, Tetris again. 500,127. He's going to transfer or transition into level 19 right now at 524. DMJ at 457. Still has a couple lines to play with here. Okay, nice couple of burns here for Atcoster. He's cleaning. He's set up. He's ready for a Tetris. DMJ can still get two more. There's a long bar and a Tetris for Coster. Going to get another one and boom, Tetris again. 575. There's a Tetris for DMJ. He's at 502. He's about three Tetrises back, but he's about a lot less in lines. So I can't do the math right now. Things are going way too fast. 576 to 503. DMJ going to have to deal with a hole that he created, but a couple of delay burns. Going to set that all up and back to clean. He's at 505. Gets a long bar and boom, Tetris for DMJ. Go to 530. Meanwhile, Coster level 21. He's at 628. Needing a couple of good burns. That gets a well open in the time. There's a long bar for the Tetris. 657 to 556. 657 now. He's stacking. He's waiting. He's putting those pieces. And there's a long bar for the Tetris. Unable to use the next two for a score as he was not Tetris ready. But he is now. And a beautiful piece to fill out the stack. He's at 685. There's a long bar after the burn. Bang, Tetris. 720 to 634, DMJ level 21, Atcoster level 22. Atcoster gonna get another long bar and slam down another quick Tetris, go to 748, 636 for DMJ. DMJ starting to fall further and further behind, but he is still behind in line, so this lead not as big as it would appear for Atcoster. DMJ gonna knock down another quick Tetris, go to 665, Coster gonna fire one right back, 7777. Then there's another long bar, go to 807, level 24, DMJ level 22. Got another long bar to Tetris for DMJ. He's at 695 to 807. 807 with a couple of beautiful tucks. He is clean and almost Tetris ready. Two long bars. Can't use either of them. So he has to stash them flat. Really good placements there for At Coster, but he is getting up a bit high. Going to take a couple of safety burns. He's at 816, waiting for another long bar. Long bar's going to show, and boom, Tetris 846. DMJ going to follow suit. Knocked on another, another Tetris. He's at 753. DMJ is still on level 23. At Coster on level 25. Atcoster getting these back-to-back -back bars, but cannot use them when he's ready for a Tetris. It's just so unfortunate. It's going to allow DMJ the chance to play be played more efficiently, but DMJ does have a couple of hangs, so he's going to have to do that and slow down as well. There's a long bar, and boom, Tetris for Atcoster, and a beautiful tuck there. He's going to get Tetris ready with the next piece here, and he's ready for the long bar now. Let's see when it comes. Comes one piece too late, so he has to use it. But he gets another one, and boom, Tetris again, 950. Atcoster now ahead by about five Tetrises, but is also one level ahead. And DMJ is starting to get a little bit of slowdown here. He's gonna maybe set up for something dirty here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna set up a couple of burns. He needs to burn this down. Gets that long bar over for some relief, but DMJ is starting to fall further and further behind in the pace. But DMJ Roller does have that kill screen playability, and he's a very strong kill screen player. So we're gonna have to see what the tapper can do to score all these points in the pre-19 speed, or 29 speeds, excuse me. There's a long bar in the Tetris and the max out. Add another one at Coster at 1,060,000. DMJ at 807. DMJ still with a couple more hangs and burns that he's gonna have to contend with as he's gonna move on to level 28. And the next eight lines are two Tetrises. Again, this board moving in the wrong direction for DMJ. DMJ's gonna need to get something over to that left side now. Beautiful J gonna be able to do it, but he's not Tetris ready. He's gonna have to keep burning this down. He's got some holes that he has to contend with. Split triple there he's at 824 at Coster into level 30 he's at 1-1 one, one. oh my word he is still going he's gonna need all the points that he can get he is set up there's a long bar to boom and Tetris into the kill screen he's at level 30 and still getting Tetris he's at 1.15 DMJ is gonna transition into the kill screen here with that Tetris and he's at 844 he needs a couple more pieces get back down to the bottom let's see what he can do and Coster going to top out with a 1.15. So DMJ with a couple of hangs is at 849. Can he get anything over? He can't. And at Coster takes game number one. GG. We've got it ready. We've got it ready. All right. So both of our players are ready. We're ready to go for game number two. Can at Coster continue to ride the wave or will DMJ come right back? Let's find out because game number two is on its way in three, two, one. Tetris.
All right, nice adjustment there for at Contra to get clean and Tetris ready, find a better spot for that square. No longs are in sight for either player. Both of them are using to burn. Drought starting to form here. A couple of burns for at Coster. Oh my word, where's the long bar? Finally gonna show for Coster. Knocks on a Tetris DMJ with a T-spin setup. There's another Tetris for Coster out to an early lead, 49,000 to 34. Oh, what? Thank you, Yobi9, for that. Look at that. Production quality just went up. Here we got 106 for DMJ. Tetris for Atkos are going to 141. Took about a one and a half Tetris lead. DMJ going to knock down another quick Tetris. They'll go to 128. Very early days. Both players through level or lines. 30 lines, that's what I meant to say. Oh my word. All right, at Caster now. 165, getting a long bar for the Tetris and a setup to score another one. It's gonna come, bangs it down, 210 to 177. The tapper out in front by one and a half Tetrises. DMJ going to cut into that. Now down by a half. He's at 200,000 to 233. That Coster knocked down another quick Tetris as well. <laughs> Kingsman saying, go to bed, kid. It is only 842 here. In fact, Ellery has his entire family here, if anybody's interested. His mom, his dad, and his uh, little sisters. They were all playing Tetris. It was the cutest thing. At Coster, kind of getting tricky here. Needs a long bar for the left side. Long bar's going to show. Takes the safety triple. He's still two Tetrises out in front of the roller. 288 to 253. Yeah, the whole stinking family. It was the cutest thing ever, too. Uh, I think they were doing level five starts. It was so cute. You can see DMG... DMJ not too pleased with the placement of that bar, so he's going to have to switch to that rolling play style to get that speed to get something over. He knocks out another quick Tetris there. We'll see if he transitions back to that DAS play style here or if he's going to continue to roll it out. Not going to risk it and play so too aggressive. Down by two and a half Tetrises here. He's at 308. Coster at 362. Boom, Tetris for Coster go to 384. Now 431 for Ad Coster, 338. Add a Tetris, go to 361 for DMJ. Ad Coster now going to knock down another quick Tetris there. Would love a square piece or something to tuck. Square piece not going to come. Finally going to show. Oh, my word. Ad Coster showing good patience, getting another long bar and slamming down that Tetris. 480 to 406. DMJ starting to claw his way back. He's still down by about three Tetrises. Coster setting up for a dirty something. That's only a triple. Tried to keep stacking here. Yes, he's going to try to remain as efficient as he can. 
You know, it's just going to take a couple burns to transition that well right back to where it belongs. He's at 501 with about seven lines until those speeds to those level 19 transition. There's a long bar and a boom. Tetris for Coster. 524. DMJ going to transition with the next three lines. Going to get a long bar and set up for a Tetris with a perfect well clear if the bar comes. Where's the long bar for DMJ? There's the long bar for DMJ into transition. Are both players 511 to 550? Off we run, level 19. Pass are going to knock down another quick pass there. The tapper just tap, tap, tap so fast. 578, you can see the flick of the wrist for DMJ. Doesn't have to quite put so put forth so much effort to get the pieces over where they need to go. We're going to see if that uh, any fatigue starts to wear on the hyper tapper. He's tapping all day. DMJ, after a couple safety burns, knocks down another quick Tetris, make it a double go to 593 to 606. DMJ level 21, Atcoster level 21. Atcoster going to get another long bar and get a Tetris there, go to 634. Oh my word, it is burning up here. We are almost tied up. DMJ coming back from about a three Tetris deficit to now a one Tetris deficit. Going to get a long bar and boom, Tetris. He's down to a half. He's at 646 to 663. Atcoster having to do a bit of burning. Long bar comes when he can't use it for Tetris, but going to be able to use that one. Bangs it down 693 to 674. Oh my word. Somebody check the exit. This place is on fire. It is 721 to 703. Atcoster is clean and he is now Tetris ready. 721, get a long bar. Boom, Tetris go to 750. And we have 703 with a Tetris for DMJ. Go to 731. DMJ is nice and clean. He is going to start stacking. Beautiful T-Tuck into the long bar. Boom, Tetris. 760, Atcoster going to follow suit. 779, separated by just a half a Tetris here. Oh, my word. Did not expect to see this, certainly in our finals. Atcoster already up game one. He's certainly going to try to look for game number two. He's at 811. DMJ at 797. Going to long bar. Bang, Tetris. Go to 827. 813. And gets the long bar, and there's a Tetris for Acoster, 846, level 25, DMJ, 859, level 25, DMJ in the lead for the first time. DMJ is just calm and cool and collected, but getting some pieces that are not too favorable. It's going to have to do some quick burning here. It's going to allow Coster the chance to take this lead right back. The long bar starts to come, but it is not appearing. And Coster going to start getting up a bit high. Takes a safety triple, or that's a double. And he's waiting for another long bar. Can the long bar come in time? Going to take a safety double there. Into level 26 at 8.57. A couple more. Come on. Where's this long bar for Coster? Now, of course, it comes, but he can't use it. But he's got a good tee. He's got that Tetris ball back open. He's going to need to fill out that left side. Oh, my gosh. 8.62. DMJ, 9.07. DMJ getting all the pieces he needs. Coster not getting the pieces he needs. Coster's board going in the wrong direction, but he is starting to bring it down. Has a Tetris well open. Where's the long bar for Coster? There it is. Boom, Tetris. 904. The roller. Roller still with the lead here at about one Tetris. But Coster not showing any signs of giving up. He's going to take just a safety skim. There's a long bar and another boom down the right. 840 to or 940. Excuse me. Get another long bar. Go to 975. DMJ at 976. We are neck and neck. Both players level 28. DMJ at 101 with the max out. At Coster with a 1 million max out. Both players. Level 28, we got that level 29 kill screen on its way. Coster has one more burn until we're there. DMJ can afford one more than that. There's a long bar, boom, Tetris and a burn. We got 1.08 to 1.02 at Coster trying to get the pieces over that he needs to get. He's at 1.03 trying to get as many points on the 30 kill screen. Can he get any more? He's at 1.03 and DMJ at 1.09. Oh my word, both people are gonna or both players are gonna top up, but DMJ is higher at 1.09. Tied it up one to one. GG. Alright, we are rip roaring and ready to go. I got the thumbs up. DMJ and Atcaster. Atcaster, excuse me. Tied up at one apiece. Let's see what happens as this game number three breaks free in three, two, one. Tetris! Said that. And oh my word, classic Tetris 2 rating with a party of 24. Welcome on in, folks. You are looking at an absolute barn burner. This is the finals for the Rumble on the Prairie Gold Bracket. I'm your host, Colin. Thank you so much for the raid, Yeehaw.
All right, DMJ having to do some burning here, as is that cost certain. Wow, look at that adjustment in those taps. That looked almost roll speed. At Coster is ready for a Tetris, gets the long bar, and boom, Tetris for At Coster, 53. DMJ gonna follow suit, boom, go to 31. We're at 15 lines. All right, DMJ is set up for the Tetris, just needs the long bar to arrive. Switching over to that roll grip, you can see he's gonna need those speeds, getting up a bit high for Daz. And taking a safety burn there, DMJ goes back to Daz after that Tetris, 83,000 to 147. Boom, there's a Tetris for at Coster, 169, hey now. All right, good burns here for Coster. He has that Tetris well back open. Oh, oh no. Coster gonna have to do some rooftop burns and quick. Okay, gonna be able to get a long bar taking a deep breath. Oh my word, that looked dangerous. I think he was trying to go for some kind of a spin there, but I don't think he got it. But I know he didn't get it. Either way, he's at 199. He's about a two Tetris lead over the roller here. He is in a bit of danger. He's going to need to look to burn this down and fast. He cannot afford to lose any pace against this roller. EMJ just so dangerous of an opponent. There's a long bar and a Tetris for Coster. He's going to look to survive that. He's at 328 to 178. There's a Tetris for DMJ. Both players now over the 200,000 point mark. 201 now for DMJ. There's a long bar and a boom. Tetris for DMJ. 224. He is caught right back up to where he needs to be. He's two burned lines behind in the line count, and he is pretty much that in score as well. There's another long bar and going to take the lead with that Tetris. 247 to 237, but Atkos are going to knock down another quick Tetris there. Go to 259. All right, DMJ knocking down another Tetris 271, but Kosser has take, regained the lead. He's about a half a Tetris in front of the roller. And a beautiful key tuck there for Kosser into the Tetris. 305 playing 272. DMJ is set up for the Tetris with that L piece. There's a long bar and slams it down as well. 295 to 305. DMJ having a couple of pushdown points there too as well to avoid any type of a tie. You cheeky bugger. Into the Tetris, knocks it down, 318 to 329 at Coster and DMJ, both across 83 lines now. DMJ setting up a long bar dependency in the center of the stack, just waiting for this long bar to arrive. This long bar taking its sweet time to arrive. Drought starting to form, we're at 14 and counting. Long bar is gonna show, but way too late. He's gonna have to do some more digging before he gets access to that hole in column six. But he does get a couple of burns in. He's at 347. Bang Tetris, 398 for At Coster. At Coster out in front by two. We approach the 100 line turn here. Nice tuck there from At Coster. At Coster at 400,000. 351 for DMJ. Nice tucks here for Coster as well. Into the Tetris. Gets it, knocks it down. 426 to 352. DMJ's board starting to get a bit spicy, so he's going to look to burn this down quick. 355. Okay, he's not. He's cut this deficit down to a three Tetris. And Kost still showing no signs of letting up. He has been playing so clean right here. Getting these pieces where they need to are so crucial, but you can see starting to get up high and this drought starting to form does take the safety triple. Probably the right move because that drought is counting. We're at 20 pieces. Finally going to show is the long bar. Bang, knocks it down. 477 to 385. Oh my word, this is a close one, folks. DMJ the roller probably just trying to take it easy here in the level 18 speed. Knows that he has better playability up high on the faster speed. Certainly at Coster, no slouch. He's already at 525. Add another Tetris into transition, 549. DMJ has eight lines to give. There's one. He's going to transition with the next Tetris. He's at 435. 
Nakoster with a Aki bar in column nine. He's ready for a Tetris. Just long bar to arrive. A sloping stack. 573, drop starting to form. There's the long bar for the Tetris at Coster, 599. DMJ gonna transition with the next Tetris here. He's waiting for this long bar. And there it is. Boom, Tetris into transition, 460, off we run. Another Tetris for Coster, he's at 628. DMJ at 485. DMJ is about 20 lines back though, so this is not as big of a lead as it would appear. DMJ taking it nice and easy. Again, the long bar and a Tetris, not trying to play too aggressively. But at Coster having to do a bit of burning, but does it clean up in almost one and a half burns. Don't ask me how you get a half a burn. 685 to 538 at Coster level 22, DMJ level 21. Nice little burn there from DMJ into the Tetris. He's at 593, so 516 back-to-back -back bars, but can't use those for a score. But he is able to use that one. He gets it over in the nick of time. 746 to 623, DMJ level 22, Atcoster level 23. Atcoster getting some really good pieces here to help fill out the left side of his board, but he is getting starting to get a bit of a drought. He's going to look to maybe take some safety burns, but ooh, doesn't quite get that piece over where it needs to go, or maybe a, perhaps a missed rotation. Either way, he's going to get some good pieces to burn this down. He's at 759, but it is going to allow DMJ the chance to maybe catch up. He's going with the center well Tetris, knocks it down, 658 for the roller, 793 for Ad Coster. Ad Coster getting some really tough pieces here. <clears throat> you can see the frustration in his, in his face right now. They, oh my gosh, what are these pieces? It would need something for that left side, but he's going to get the Tetris first. 833 to 700. At Coster is still in the lead, about four Tetrises, but is also ahead by about 12 lines. Ooh, slight misdrop there. Oh, and a terrible couple of pieces for At Coster. This game just toying with the poor fella. Oh, my. Ah, he is fighting. Oh, my word. Oh, and Atkoster going to hang, and he's done at 841. So, DMJ, you have a chase down, 842. That's about a three Tetris. He's set up for it. There's a long bar, and boom, there's one. Two Tetrises will do. And he's going to look to do it in style. There's a long bar, and boom, Tetris. He is one Tetris away from completing the chase down. Just needs the long bar. Where's the long bar? Where's the long bar? Has to take a couple safety burns. Hey, he has a Tetris well back open. Give him the bar. He only needs a half a Tetris. Taking a safety burn there as he goes into level 28. He's 8,000 more points. That's eight burns, but he's set up for a Tetris. Give the long bar. There it is, and boom, the Tetris completes the chase down, and DMJ takes the 2-1 lead. Go. This is a pivotal game number four. DMJ looking to finish off Coster. Coster looking to fight his way back to a decider. Let's find out what happens as game number four knocks on your door. Count it down with me in three, two, one. Tetris! Ooh, DMJ not getting that spin. That would have been absolutely crucial. All right, like I mentioned, this is match point for DMJ. At Coster is going to need to B2B win here to make a bracket reset.
All right, at Coster with the lead here, but he is very dependent. Oh, this board for Coster. Oh, this board for Coster. Oh, no. Okay, good couple of flats here for Coster, but he is in danger. He is up very high. Can you get anything over? Oh, no, this hang. Oh, Coster's going to need to get... Oh, my gosh, no. Oh, he's going to hang. Oh, no. He's out. Oh, Coster's going to be done at one, 119. Oh, my gosh, DMJ. DMJ needs two Tetrises to take this, but has all the time in the world. Oh, my word. Oh, no. One and a half Tetrises now. But where's the long bar? Drought starting to form. Okay, there's the long bar. Boom, down the center. One more needed here for DMJ. To seal the deal. Oh, no. Okay, DMJ just going to take a couple of safe burns here. He's at 104. He needs 120. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, DMJ. Perhaps maybe having a little bit too much fun here. Switching to that roll grip. There's a long bar. Gets it over. He just needs like 10 burns. Nine. I am, I am flabbergasted at what's happening right now. Okay, he is set up for the Tetris. And there's a long bar. Oh! Yeah, there it is, DMJ! Your Rubble on the Prairie 13 Gold Bracket Champion, David Michael Joseph! Oh my word. DMJ, DMJ, DMJ! Oh my word. Hell, big hell yeah from Grand Designs. And DMJ, come on over. Let's, uh. And we're gonna just switch right here. All right. So, DMJ, congratulations on your big win here. Tell me, at that final match where you were just throwing pieces any which way, taking the safety burns, not taking, looking off to the side, what was going through your head there? Which game, particularly? Well, first off, the very last one. You kept moving the pieces left and right and stacking up a little odd. I was contemplating whether or not I should top out to send it to a game five. Because I kind of wanted to. Kind of a bummer, but I don't know if that's disrespectful. So I chose not to. But I wanted to make it fun. Yeah, well, absolutely. Both the audience, myself, and Yeehaw back here giggling at what you were doing. I was completely blown away. So tell me, coming in here, nobody knew you were coming. Coming in off the street, basically. First off, why why incognito? Why didn't you tell anybody that you were coming? Well, if you go look at the Discord, um, Rhubarb told me to come the day before. And I said, okay. Interesting. So somebody go fact check that. Go through the Discord right now. Send me the screenshot. Just message me on Discord. You, you guys know where to find me. Other than that, DMJ, any other final words? Congratulations on your big win. That was very fun. Um, I really love the double elimination. I, it just makes it feel like different. So I would encourage other tournaments that are 1v1 tournaments to do that. And uh, thank you, Grand Designs, and you, Colin, for hosting Wars and helping out here. Um, the Battle Royale was a ton of fun, and I'm super prideful that I won that. So it was extremely tough. And uh, Coster and Rhubarb were very tough competition, I must say. So. Um, very happy to have gotten the best of them because I didn't know if I was going to be able to before this. Awesome. Well, congratulations on your big win here, DMJ. Great to see you as always. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Take care. Thank you. All right. Well, that's going to do us over here at Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. My name's Colin. Thank you so much for coming out and watching us. Thank you for all the players that came out and played. Thank you for the audience members. Give yourselves all a big round of applause. And my camera is blurry. Look at that. All right. We're going to find a raid target. And I'm going to find somebody, but you guys don't need to look at my ugly face, so let's just uh, switch back to this.